Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Today's video is going to be about what I have in my emergency kits. I have three of them and most of the items are from Dollar Tree. I will let you know otherwise. Um, I am still building on them, so I still have to add more stuff to them. So if you're interested to see what I have in my emergency kits, just keep on watching. This blue tote is my 72 hour kit that stays at home just in case we have a a uh, winter storm, a power outage, and I'm still building on this one. And just letting you guys know, it is not organized in here. Tiki, <laughs> get down. Sorry guys, she wants to sit on top of the tote. So this tote is not organized in any way. I'm not an, a very organized person, you guys. I wish I was, I'm sorry, but I'm not. So there you go, you know a little something about me. So I'm just gonna grab the items. This is a Good Sense drawstring. These are kitchen bags, 10 come in here. Oh. We have some towels, which I got these towels from Dollar General. They were like three bucks each. I have here some tool bench hardware. These are work gloves. brush I have here a foldable camping knife I also have a 8-in-1 screwdriver set some friskies cat food some vegetable uh, stewed with beef Slim Jims and some chicken salads that come with crackers ready to eat. Some peanut butter. Soap. Uh, some Chef Boy ID. I'm not gonna pull out all the cans because they're pretty much the same. Some top ramen noodles, chicken flavor, five come to pack. Some mixed nuts. Some seeds. So you can plant a garden. If something drastic happens and we need to plant some food. some batteries, a pencil sharpener, some safety glasses, disposable filter mask, uh, some slip joint pliers, We have here some hard candy. This is the Creamy Delights. A face mask. I'm gonna hold that. Some socks. I have here some poly rope. Some duct tape. And a can opener. Some uh, matches, plastic spoons, some toilet paper, a rain poncho, more batteries. And these are seven, uh, 27 total hours. These are emergency candles. So I got those. Uh, flashlight. Some playing cards. 
and some glow sticks. Then I have here some deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, some hair ties. Then I have some, like a first aid kit, some ibuprofen, hydrogen peroxide, some hand sanitizer, some aspirin. And then here I have some toothpaste with brushes, toothbrushes. Oh, and some uh, feminine products are in here. And in this little blue tote thingy, it's just another like emergency um, first aid kit. Some hot patches, some band-aids, some white antibacterial wipes, latex gloves, elastic bandage, this little guy that I'm not even sure if that works but I just stuck that in there. So that is all in my uh, 72 hour emergency kit that I have so far. I'm going to share with you what I have in my other ones. So stay tuned. This is my emergency car kit. The container I got from Goodwill for a buck. So the first thing here is some band-aids. A lint roller. I have here some sunscreen. This is a 5-in-1 survival tool. This is um, a whistle. It is a liquid filled compass, a mirror inside, waterproof match case, flint bar, and I got this from uh, Walmart. I have here some uh, pain relief hot patch. I have an elastic support bandage. Some shower gel, body lotion, and a little loofah sponge. Another one of these emergency USB charger thingies. Not sure how well they work, but maybe one day we'll see. A lighter. Some off, which I got the off from Dollar General. A rain poncho. Some antibacterial wipes, wet wipes. And in here, I just have some latex gloves, some um, tissue, some face masks, some band-aids, band some tissue, some hand warmers, some playing cards. dry shampoo. Now I use a lot of um, like little samples and stuff like that that I get from my Ipsy Glam bag for like you know stuff like this. A you know nail little kit with um, the nail clipper and the tweezers. A mini flashlight. Uh, some quarter zone. some deodorant another one of these camping folding knives try not to blind you guys some glow sticks hand sanitizer lotion some Excedrin some more pain relief patches, some Advil PM, I didn't even realize it had PM on there. Um, some of these, one of these bugables to help keep the bugs away, they're the little bracelets. Toilet paper, a brush, and some batteries. 
a umbrella and here's some like um, personal items some for women and some toothbrushes little mini toothbrushes some personal items and I save all my little sample packets um, you know just in case for the car uh, we got a comb in there some honest shampoo body wash hair rubber band some mouthwash some perfume and some LED emergency flares which I got this from Walmart and then in this little box thingy here this storage bin um, I have here a blanket and I got this from Goodwill. It's a warming scarf hand and neck heat therapy. So it has like, um, it has, it's 100% all natural herbs and grains in it. It's supposed to, it says it heats in the microwave in minutes. So I don't know, I just figured just in case to have on hand in the car if something was to happen and it was cold outside so I thought it was just something good to have just in case so that is what I have so far in my car emergency kit so now I'm gonna share with you my first aid kit for home this here is my first aid kit for the home and plastic container I got from Dollar General I can't remember how much I paid for it but it is from Dollar General so I have here some pure magnesium oil which works really great for any like sore muscles or anything um, I don't even know where to begin I have here some immune support it's a spray some Calmine lotion some mucus relief some of this menthol menthol relief stick which I add this I put this like if um, I'm having some type of pain or anything on my body I put that with the magnesium spray and it works really well Oops, some airborne and I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys some of these are probably expired so I have to go through them all and throw out all the expired stuff this is some Badger's sore, sore joint rub I also have this one here some pain relief balm antibiotic and pain relief ointment some earache drops also have some nasal relief spray actually I have two of them some throat spray this is an herbal mist with echinacea and tea tree oil and it's a full bottle and I'm kind of disappointed because the top is missing so I probably will trash that it's a shame Another one, this well this one is olive leaf throat spray, missing top. So I'm, I'm assuming my daughter, one of them, got a hold of it, lost the top. Some oregano oil. This is great for immune if you're sick and everything like that. Um, what else? Some anti-acid, almost like Tums. This helps relieve acid indigestion. Some chest rub, 
some more airborne, some hydrogen peroxide, some Tussin, uh, this is cough syrup, some sore throat spray, some clear, uh, clear quill, this is for daytime sinus conge and congestion. Uh, some sepical extra strength, this is for sore throat. Some more clear quill. This one is all day and all night, 24 hour allergy relief. What else we got here? Some stuff for athlete's foot. Some Mucinex. Some more of these uh, patches. This one is cold and hot. This one is a back patch. These work really well. I don't know why I have in here. I don't know why I have this in here, but anyways, this is the calm, the natural calm, guys. This is really good stuff. I mentioned this before in one of my other videos, but this helps with relaxing uh, your muscles. It's just magnesium. It's an anti-stress drink. I actually have. I had to buy a whole like a tub of it because that's how much I like it. But this is just a little sample. Um, what else? Some more triple antibiotic ointment. Uh, some uh, uh, first aid gel. This stuff works really well for any cuts. What else does it do for? Um, you know, sunburn, razor burn, rashes, blisters, bug bites, you know, all that stuff. Some homeopathic stuff for cramps, and the other one is for uh, muscle soreness back aches and all that this is um uh, party smart it is an herbal supplement and this what does this do if you're out partying you take this before any consumption of alcohol um, I have so much stuff in here I have some cortisone some burn relief this and I also have an aloe plant and aloe is really good if you have a burn I have a Tommy copper uh, which one is this one this is an elbow sleeve that I haven't used but I have that also have here some colloidal silver and once again the top is missing <laughs> um, some nature's garden uh, sleep aid this I purchased from Dollar Tree so we normally are fine with going to sleep like we don't have any really problems going to sleep thankfully um, but this is just to have on hand if someone does just in case this is new thorough flu the express express max flu cough and sore throat and then I have this one here severe cold and cough some mucinex fast max this is nighttime cold and flu I have here the Sinus Max Severe Congestion Relief. Uh, of course, some Band Aids. Another cold and flu uh, formula. Uh, some Sinus for Children. These are like little samples. And this is Cold Calm. This is another homeopathic item. And of course, I have my Tiki, her urinary tract irritation medicine in here, just in case. So yeah, that is what I have in my um, first aid kit for home. 